Hello everyone and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and we are this time playing as a little hunter boy going for yet another secret ultra. This time around we have to get some specific mutations. So we need to get Energy Brain, um, Open Mind, or what was the other one, um, or Eagle Eyes. We need two, at least two of those. So Energy Brain, Open Mind and Eagle Eyes. That's what we're looking for. So let's go for this and see what we can get done. Uh, we get a pretty decent starting weapon here. Um, and we can use our little homing ability thing to auto aim and do a bit of extra damage. I won't end up using that a ton, I'll be honest. It's not the most valuable of abilities. I'll use it on bosses mainly. Um, but for regular enemies, I can spam it, I know, but it's not the most useful. Um, and do we have any of those here? No, we don't. I'll take bolt marrow in case we get a decent bolt weapon along the way. It's always fun to uh, play around bolt marrow. But yeah, I'll mainly use my ability for bosses uh, for the extra damage and just the uh, easier ability to hit on target. But for the rest of them, it's not as useful. Now, we don't have crowns unlocked for this guy, so we can't do the crown uh, ability to start with, which is a shame because that does boost our ability to level up pretty quickly. Got a big health chest there as well. There's a spear launcher. That gives us some uh, bolt marrow potential already. Pretty good. 30 damage is not bad at all. Pretty slow fire rate on this one, though. But maybe we don't do electro damage until we have our thingy. Okay, um, power craving, long arms, tail end, hypersomnia. We'll go with power craving. Double machine gun there. Double machine gun isn't the best for us right now. Uh, it's always slightly annoying that, like, if you take Power Craving, but something's come through the portal with you, it won't be affected by Power Craving. I I'm unsure whether it should or not, but uh, it's slightly annoying that it doesn't. Right, where's the last fella over here? Rat boy, come over here now. There you go. Easy stage, easy life. Good, good, good. So we don't have any of the mutations we want thus far. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh, beautiful. The homing from Bolt Marrow there being very important. Making it very, very easy to kill numerous enemies at once. I do love Bolt Marrow. It's, it, from, from like the vanilla game, it's one of the best ones, I think. We get a thingy, inverted portal here, rather nice. We'll hop on through here, and Energy Brain is one of the ones we want, so we will take it. And then we need Open Mind or Eagle Eyes. Once we have those two, it's basically just carry on as normal. Did we get projectile speed on a hammer? I think we did. Fantastic. Exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> We can put another mutation on it, though, if we want. I guess that could be decent. Okay. Be careful of the snipers and their explosive shots. They are quite, quite deadly. Ooh, there's Kraken there. We do like Kraken. Okay. Um, plasma gun? We, that's an energy weapon, so I'll take that. And we've got... Um, Energy brain. Why the hell not? Do a bit of extra energy damage and a bit of Kraken damage. Right. Um, still not what we want here. I'll take Strong Spirit just as a bit of survivability. But we still haven't got what we need here. This is good though. Having fire and, uh, and Kraken on this is doing some good stuff. Oh, it's kind of like... See how it's like sticking to the walls and existing for a bit longer. It's making it quite, quite the formidable weapon. Do not like this situation though. Oh, it's the micro missiles as well. We we goddamn hate the micro missiles. Awesome, 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 awesome. And we get blood on it as well. The trifecta, baby. The trifecta. I'll take the charged shotgun. Okay, nice and easy thus far. I didn't even use my ability on that guy. Okay, any of them here? Uh, no, no, 
No, no. I'm gonna go with uh, patience here and try and get an extra one for the next stage. Because I think we can get better and I'd, I'd like, even if we can't get what we want, I'd love to get Mood Swing with this weapon. I think Mood Swing plus Energy Brain on this is gonna be something to, to behold, really. Gotta remember these guys have changed. Walked right into that. My bad. Yeah, Energy Brain is so good. I don't know if Energy Brain is actually improving how this thing fires or not, if that's just how this weapon works. So I don't remember it working this way, but it might just be a different weapon than I'm thinking of. That's always plausible. Um, so we didn't get what we want here, but we can take Scarier Face. And then Second Stomach, Tough Shell, Rage... Let's go with Tough Shell. Okay, so we've only got a few levels to get what we want now, but... We can hurt. We've just got to be hurtful that we get what we want. God damn this thing. Maybe not the most ammo-efficient thing in the world, but god damn does it clear a room. Holy. Beautiful stuff. I keep destroying the, uh... Oh no, I didn't destroy it this time. Good. I can go through here, and... Ooh, we could do explosive on it, um, instead of blood. <sighs> oh wait, no, we get an extra one. I, I forget you always get an, you get an extra one. I was like, why isn't it replacing it? Anyways, let's go and grab our crown here for the extra level ups, and also so we can start with it next time. Little worried about my ammo efficiency with with this thing. I think overall we should be fine. But yeah, explosive on this thing seems pretty gnarly. On top of everything else. Okay, don't open the uh, ammo chests yet. We'll come back to those once we run out of ammo. Beautiful, nice and easy kill there. Level eight as well already. Okay. Come on, give it to me, game. Aesthetic Fists is really, really good, but goddamn, we're not getting what we want at all here. I'm a bit sad about that. Oh god, I just exploded myself. My bad. My bad. Don't stand next to walls when firing this thing next time. It's not a good idea. Hey, there's some health at least. Okay. The AoE on this thing, like the ability to just kill multiple enemies is so high. It's very, very nice. Ooh, I could go with double Kraken. Um, let's replace blood first. I do like double Kraken. Drom? I've never heard of Drom before. Hmm. Listen. Rush to take your time. I don't, I don't know what secrets this guy's telling me about, but I'm confused by them so far. Come on. If you're not going to give us what we need, at least give me uh, Mood Swing, however it's called. I want to see how much damage this thing can do with double Kraken on it. It's already doing quite a bit. Level 9. Damn, we didn't get it. It's really annoying. Um, Plutonium Hunger, I guess. There's ways we can still get it, so let's, let's not just give up. This thing doesn't do the best at single target, to be honest. Good, but not great. Ah, unfortunate. Okay, we didn't get what we wanted anyways there, so I don't particularly mind dying there. Let's try again. It's a shame that. There's just so many mutations now, I guess, though. You're not always going to get what you want. I'll open this up. 
Ah, oh, I didn't mean to actually go through straight away. Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's quit. And, um, go back and enable crowns so that we can start with this this time. It just makes our life a lot easier. God damn, whoever, whoever said, told me about this in the comments is just the, the best of the best. So good. Because I very rarely actually utilize two weapons until like the late game. So just having one weapon most of the time is like fine by me. Getting all the extra rads is lovely. Um, we got anything we want here? No. That's, oh, wait, there, was, there was actually energy brain there, my bad. My bad, I'm still happy to have this though. Early on, this thing does pretty insane damage. Oh, don't suck me in straight away, you big bitch. I'm restarting. That annoyed me. Sucked me in immediately, and I did not want that. Um, small missile bomb, I don't think so. I think we're good with what we got going on right now. Um, I think rhino skin. Uh, no, plutonium hunger is actually probably the better one. Plutonium hunger saves you more than having more HP, I think. Also means we just don't miss out on any rads that kind of go skew if we don't end up seeing them drop. Okay, now we're good to go straight through. Energy brain. Let's take energy brain. When I'm not using an energy weapon, it feels a bit wasteful to take it, but it's part of the challenge. It's part of the unlock. You just gotta go for it. I mean, this weapon is doing a fantastic job thus far of getting all this for us. Double disc gun. I think I'll be okay for the double disc gun, thank you. Um, Eagle Eyes, there you go. So we've, we've, we've got two of the requirements now. Basically, now all we've got to do is reach loop. We'll see how that goes. Bouncer crossbow. Bouncer crossbow is decent, but honestly, the pop gun right now is doing me a lot of favors. I'll stick with the, the bouncer crossbow, though. I think I think it's better. Um, thrown butt. Marked enemies take extra damage. That's where that that was coming from. Power craving seems good, though. We'll take that. Especially if we get Mood Swing. Big bastards incoming. I don't particularly like this situation with all the, the small fish coming in. Especially with a, a burr weapon. This thing's got fire on it as well, I like that. Wrong direction. Eh, I'll just stick with this. Um, Gamma Guts, we'll take that. Got a charge burr there. I guess I'll take it as a secondary, just in case. This thing just has really slow fire rate, so we have to kind of wait our turn. God damn, do I love having plutonium hunger here. I'm just got to try and use this weapon correctly with the timing of the shots to not waste ammo and waste time, more importantly. Heavy grenade launcher, I guess I'll take as a secondary. Grenade shotgun as well there. Can't take that away from me, can you? Um, then we'll go with ecstatic fists for the extra damage. 
It's lightning as well, this grenade launcher, which seems pretty goddamn good. New additions to this floor. Some of the guys from the YV's mansion have arrived. They never used to be here. They're quite fitting though, I think, for enemies on the stage. Oh, I'm on 1 HP right now, I didn't even realise. Let's be careful, shall we? Let's be careful. Come on, something drop me some HP, please. Damn, okay, unfortunate. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take Strong Spirit here. Projectile speed or reload speed? Reload speed seems better, right? Oh god. Lightning crossbow. Got us off a Doom pistol here. Doom pistol's pretty good. Although we do have two things that use the same ammo now, which obviously isn't ideal. The heavy grenade launch is the better option of the two here. Should do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated him. We get to keep our Doom Pistol in this scenario too here. Don't like all the stuff that's around here. Super easy for us to blow ourselves up. With the Doom Pistol we can just kind of leave to do its own thing. They do a reasonably good job at finding enemies, although not the best. Bloodline. Bloodline is our better weapon here, I think, although it's still, again, the same ammo type. But Bloodline is really good because it destroys projectiles. Also, it just does good damage. It's also lightning as well, which is nice. Yeah, the fact that it destroys projectiles is kind of insane with this thing. It's It just makes life so much safer. But I really could use two things with different ammo types, really. <laughs> it's not ideal to have two things with the same ammo type right now. Um, Absorbing pause is probably better here. I think we're going to go with double lightning on this thing. That seems fun. Rush to take your time. I still don't know what these hints are. What they hint towards. We are level 9 now. We'll leave one of those chests there. Easy kill on you. Lovely. Bunch of extra weapons over here. A schlogger. Yeah, it's good. New ammo type as well. We'll take that. With the line weapons, you have insane range as well. That's another huge benefit. My god, we're gonna just about hit level. Ah, oh, I thought we we're gonna hit level 10 right at the end there, but not quite. Okay, there's that ultra. Can this big dog, like, stop hiding, please? Thank you. It was perfectly hidden behind that thing there. Beautiful. Okay, we are good. We should, we should have it here. Yes, there you go, baby. There you go. Right, let's take a look and see what this does. Sniper Eye. Replace your active with a sniper's eye. A sniper eye. The eye stuns and breaks walls. Damage increases each pierce. Power slowly scales. Power scales faster if you have thrown, but fully charged eye destroys any projectiles. Mm, okay, I like it, I like it. Energy results in energy. Another sort of vague hint there. 
Um, and then we can go and switch crown. Grab this. Love it. Guess I'll grab the super needle. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it, it hits across the like entire screen, which is kind of nice. It, does, it actually does a pretty good amount of damage, to be honest. Probably not quite as much as the bloodline, but... <laughs> this thing's mental. See what I mean? This thing's this thing's mental. This thing's obscene. I can destroy little walls with this to get them out of the way as well, which is kind of nice. Straight on through. Some ammo on this thing. I love the noise this thing makes. And it's just like a really, really safe melee weapon as well. Which you can just like. It doesn't go through walls though, which is probably fair. Dude, this thing's obscene. <laughs> also one of my favorite levels. It one-shot that. Holy shit, I almost died. Oh, I did die. Guy fired a rocket at me. Well, goddamn, there's another one in the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yet another secret ultra unlocked. We're going to have a lot to play with once we've unlocked all of these. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.